Hey, just wanted to say that I know um, the last few films have been quite vloggy, but I'll be back to more studio music stuff soon, I promise. Okay, I have a few bits of touring coming up and uh, tiny little tours, and uh, it's sort of keeping me out of the studio, you know? Um, but back to normal soon. Plus, I'm gonna take you with me. Um, Although it's not that glamorous, I think Macclesfield is on the list. Um, nothing against Macclesfield, just giving you an idea of the <laughs> the types of places. Belfast is on the list. Dublin. Um, somewhere in Scotland. Anyway, you'll find out when I do. Okay. <laughs> get reacquainted with the flute I have to get reacquainted with the flute it's uh, I love the flute I'm not very good at flute player um, when I joined Van Morrison's band they asked me if I could play flute and I said yes <laughs> but I couldn't this is probably something I shouldn't be saying on camera. But then I spent quite um, a lot of nights in my studio, late, late nights, practicing flute. And ever since, the flute, I've attached this sense of anxiety to it. For a long time, the very first tune in the set, I can't remember what it was called, but it started with flute. <laughs> so Van would walk on as I was playing flute. Um, so. It was a lot psychologically to deal with. Um, and that's just leaving aside the whole issue of playing with Van Morrison. But to play an instrument like the flute uh, in front of 7,000 people, um, what it taught me was breathing is good. Just breathe. And that always worked for me. Just breathe. And I'd take a breath. And that's, I had to play that, um, you know, an E-flat major arpeggio, and he'd walk in front of me. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. And of course, I need to practice this, which I've realized, um, just now that it's probably something I will do for the rest of my life. Well, as long uh, as I want to be paid to play. I mean, this, this is a, uh, this is a Mark CX tenor, and it's a 50s one. Um, and you can see the logo, if you like. I think, oh yes, it's a beautiful horn. Um, and I have the Boston Sack Shop Heritage Neck which made such a difference to the playing. Not that you can hear that, but um, the saxophone, when I got this saxophone, I opened the case and I could smell cigar smoke. It's from St. Louis in America. Um, so yeah, open the case, smell the cigar smoke, did a gig 
pretty much straight away a trio gig, just playing some jazz standards. And the weirdest feeling that the saxophone knew the standards. Um, it just it just played the tunes for me. Um, it's a very strange feeling. I'm standing there smelling cigar smoke somewhere in America. Uh, and this is in probably a garden in Surrey um, of a big fancy house. And, um, and it's just playing, I think it was playing all the things you are and it just knew what to do. <laughs> anyway. I guess that happens when an instrument is set up properly and is easy to play. You know, it feels like it's playing itself. call us um, is stay active and so sorry it's pickleball time <laughs> oh yes I don't hold out much hope for today Always. a bit hungover perfect smuggles <laughs> <laughs> face of someone who is destroying his <laughs> opponent. This is not the face of someone destroying anyone. No. Robbie, what was the score in the last game? That was 13 in effort. To who? It was to me, sadly. <laughs> I've got to say, I don't want to be that guy. He is that guy. <laughs> Amazing, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'll see you. Give me a shout when you're yeah, back. Yeah, I'll book it while I'm away. I'll book something. Do it. Yeah. Do it. All right. Cheers, Dave. Bye. Take care. Okay, so that was kind of brutal. So it's uh, sort of the end of the day here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of posts and things on YouTube about, you know, what's the best way to become a composer for film? Um, I saw one today, probably someone you subscribe to. Um, he was talking about, um, you know, business plans and cooking show franchises. Um, and of course I respect um, what he has to say and his, his experience. I mean, I think it's just important that you don't lose sight of why you want to be a musician. Um, is it to make money from royalties? Um, that you earn writing music for a cooking show. It's extremely difficult this day and age um, from a from the perspective of being in England, there is such a gap between the rich and the poor, which seems to be getting bigger and bigger. There seems to be less money for those who aren't uber wealthy. Um, So, and a thing I've been thinking about a lot recently is being able to afford to fail. Um, and I've been there um, a lot in my life, um, especially since moving to this country in the 90s, not feeling like I could afford to fail. Um, I, you know, pro I would say I have failed at some things. Being able to afford to fail, you know, what do I mean by that? I just mean... Um, that you can experiment and you could try and be an artist whose aim is not 
to buy houses and invest in, um, you know, restaurants <laughs> or, or whatever. Um, and it used to be the way in this country that you could do that. You could be an artist and you could afford to experiment. And of course that's been taken away and um, it's more difficult than ever. And so what do you do about that? Is it better to be, say, a barista making coffee so that you can make the music you want to make and work on the films you want to work on with the people you want to work with? Or is it better to be an assistant? Or is it better to write music for cooking franchise, um, for the cooking franchise series? Um, okay, you know, I have done music for TV series that... Uh, you know, are approaching the realms of a cooking show franchise. And yes, the royalties were good. I do feel, though, it has had an impact on the direction of my career. And knowing what I know now, I would be more circumspect about saying yes to things like that. I don't know, what do you, what do, you do about this? This is, um, it's, it's very tricky. It, it goes back to what I said in the Six Things film, um, which I posted recently. What is the ideal you as a musician and composer? If you know what the ideal you is, there is no reason why you can't be it. I do think, though, that you can sabotage your path to being that ideal you. But the bottom line is, if you don't know what the ideal is, you don't know what the path is. Tom Hanks, okay, this uh, is one of my favorite quotes, and it was said by Tom Hanks. It is, what you say no to defines you. Uh, that has almost become a mantra for me. <laughs> um, and there are things I say yes to, which I, say, I should say no to, um, but I'm realizing that that is defining me. It's such an important lesson. And you might not want that lesson. Uh, you might not need that lesson. Um, who am I to say anything to you out there? Um, but I really do feel like it's something that should be said more simply because I keep hearing people saying the route to being a media composer is uh, do this, do that, do that. Um, effectively sell your soul yes think business business plans you know why uh, but work out a way so that you can be the ideal you and if that means being a barista or uh, as in my case being a saxophone player that does gigs on the side when I need to often um then you know that's the way it has to be anyway let's see what happens i mean i think things will get better there are tax breaks in place um you know things will change politically none of it matters though if you don't know who you want to be <laughs> all right what you say no to defines you also just to say i have uh, just sent out my latest newsletter which I send out every couple of months. It's things I'm interested in from the, the world of music and sound. Um, I talk about the projects I'm doing and um, upcoming releases and things like that. So if that sort of thing interests you, I'll put a link below. You can, uh, if you want to sign up to it. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, please subscribe and um, yeah, leave some comments. Um, if you agree, disagree with the sort of things I was saying, you know, do you have a strategy that allows you to be able to afford to fail? Okay, yeah, okay, you know, let me know. All right, thanks, bye.